today you're going to be a participant and you're also going to be a listener peter's family is going to tell you from the inside out what he was like you're going to hear from the sons you're going to hear from grandchildren and we're going to hear from you we're going to begin our service with prayer but the prayer will be different because you're going to be the pastor now i'm going to have to ask you to leave on your masks because that's the regulation of the Alberta government now. Those of you that are going to come up and participate, take your mask off because you'll be able to use this mic and we'll be able to hear you properly. But for our opening prayer, I want you to take the order of service that you had coming in and turn to the very back page, would you? It's entitled Psalm 23. That's going to be our opening prayer. And through your mask, as you're sitting, Take out the reading and we're going to say it together in unison, the opening prayer of Psalm 23. Beautiful prayer. And it's probably the great tribute that Peter chose as he remembers his last days here on earth. So I'm gonna start, you're gonna join in as I begin and we'll go all the way through and then I'll say amen. Here we go, together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me, in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And everyone said, Amen. Peter's name, P-E-T-E-R. You have heard each of those letters covered. P. He was a parent. E, he was an educator, he was a teacher. T, he was a taxi driver. E, he was an example. And R, he was rewarded. Velma, I'm gonna take you aside when this is all over and I'm gonna tell you all those good things inside that I had with all those letters. But I'm only gonna give it to you, not to them. But I will give you the final illustration. When I think of Peter and I think of a reward, there was a young man who had been diagnosed with terminal illness. He was given just three months to live. Getting things in order, he called his young pastor to come to his house and discuss certain aspects of his final wishes. He told the pastor the songs that he wanted to be sung he told the pastor the scripture that he wanted read. He told him the outfit that he was to be buried in. With everything in order, he said finally to the pastor, oh, there's one more thing I want. And he went over to his cutlery drawer and he came out with a fork. And he gave the fork to his pastor. And he said, I want the fork to be placed in my right hand in the casket for the time of viewing. You want a fork, said the pastor. Yes, he said. In all my years attending socials and dinners, I always remember that when the dishes of the main course were being cleared, someone would lean over and he would say to me, keep your fork. Something wonderful is coming. Keep your fork, that velvet chocolate cake or that deep dish apple pie and then he said to his pastor, when they come by and they see me with the fork in my right hand, I want you to tell them that the best is yet to come. That's what Peter has. We're now going to watch the video of the second round, and you sit back and enjoy the last part of Peter's life. 